You too, what is going on, Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture? And yes, I am still talking about Mylar and Polly Bags and the dilemma in the comic book world. Okay, guys, so I was just going through my Amazing Spider-Man books, and I actually forgot about this, but this book I have in a uh, Polly bag, and I had dated when I put it in uh, when I bagged and board, boarded this book. And uh, this is what I'm going to talk about. As you can see here, I dated it July 20th, 2017. And it is an Ultra Pro Poly Bag. So that was j about almost exactly one and a half years ago. That is uh, 18 months ago as of yesterday. So yeah, right on the 18 month mark. Let's bring this down. Look at this, guys. Let's see if we can get a good... Uh, look in the camera at this, uh, bag. Look at this. I'm hoping you guys can see what I can see. It looks like the body of a body of water, uh, with all those ripples. It looks like a running river of ripples. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Right there. You can get a good eye on it. It looks like, um, let's go to the back. You can, there you go. Look at that. So you can see all of the ripples and how it is rippled up. Uh, uh, uh. So let's just put it up here again. Let's get some light on it. I mean, on camera, you can't you can't really see too much, you know, from far away. But yeah, once you I mean, once you get it, you're looking at it. Um, you know, it, it it's pretty bad. This is a bag that is a year and a half old. And it looks like this. Now, let me just show you guys. I keep it right here. So let me zoom back. This is my unit, you know, in my carpeted, insulated room. And I have talked about in the past, you know, I, I do the best that I can. I did the best that I could when I built this room. Uh, but we do have, you know, really hot summers. We have cold winters. And I, I have a, the plug-in air unit for the summer. And I have a plug-in heater for the winter because we do not have central air in here. So I do the best that I can. I have dehumidifiers um, out and about at all times. I even, anytime, let me see if I can find one. Yep. I have uh, moisture packets in like almost all of my boxes. Just stuffed in here. Like this. And this book just came from right here. This nice box. And I do, I do keep the lids off of them, but I store them back like that. Uh, so no light, nice and, 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 uh, dark. And this is what it did to, and I haven't moved it. Uh, when I bagged and boarded this book a year and a half ago, I put it in that box and have not moved it. Uh, also just to let you guys know, just so you can see here how this box is. I want you to see that there is room. Whoa, <laughs> there is room in here. It is not like suffocated. You know, I can easily go through these. I mean, it's 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 full, but I make sure that most of my boxes are not jam packed. Because when you jam pack them and you have the books and poly bags, it can it, it can you know quicken the the warping of the bag for sure. So again. These are all the conditions that this book has been in. So you can see. Now, here, here's the thing. Let's look at the board. The board is, is solid still, or at least it looks solid. I mean, it's white. You know, uh, I, there's no yellowing going on. I'm going to go ahead and pull the book out of the bag. And voila, now we have the book out of the bag. Uh, we can look at the board here. I don't see. Much of anything. So, uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. I see a little bit of dinge. Around where the edge of the book was and the edge of the board. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but it's barely there, but it's there. 
But I mean, the board is still really nice and white. Oh, I remember these boards too. These were, I forget which brand they were, uh, but they're two, the, the full back. I think you'd call them full back, right? Because when they have the, the smooth on both sides, the anti oil or, or whatever on both sides. Um, oh, what was the brand? My uh, local shop, Boys of Summer, was carrying these for a while. And they're really nice because they're nice and thick. And, you know, they're like the same price as your standard um, 100 pack. So, um, I'm going to hold on to this. <laughs> Anyways, and again, just looking at the bag uh, with no book in it. You Look at that. Yeah, now you can see it. Look at that. One and a half years, guys. And again, I mean, it's not really yellowed. It's And the tape isn't yellowed at all. But, um, yeah, so... What I would say is, look, if I kept this book in this bag, I, like I said, no yellowing, really, uh, not much of that going on in, in such a short period of time. I mean, you're, you're keeping your book protected, I would assume, for the most part. And again, I'm not an expert on this, but it's it's in a bag. Just because it's wrinkling doesn't mean it's like killing your book necessarily, but... If it is wrinkling, what is what is causing it? So if it's, if it's, um, moisture, uh, or, you know, something that in, in the air that's getting into the bag, is it doing anything to your book at the same time? I don't know. Like I said, cause I'm not an expert, but you can see guys. So one, one issue with me too, though, is like, I don't like to have books that in on display that look like this. So I would replace this bag just because it looks nasty. It's funky in collectors have pet peeves collectors have ocd about what they like i can't stand this so for me i'm going to be replacing this so if i'm replacing a bag and board in 18 or a bag at least in 18 months and your standard two mil mylar cost what so for um 50 pack, I can get a 50 pack for about 15. That's a low end, 15 to 20, but let's just say 15. Um, that means I'm paying $30 for a hundred bags. Okay. I can get my hundred bags of Ultra Pro or Poly for five bucks, right? So that's six times. I'm paying six times. So basically, what I'm trying to say is if you times one and a half by six. Okay, that's nine years. In nine years, I would have spent the same amount of money that I did on that poly bag. I mean, excuse me, on that Molly <laughs> Molly bag. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me rewind. In nine years, if I'm changing these out, these poly bags out, it would have cost me the same amount as if I would have put this book in a Mylar bag originally. In nine years is okay obviously oh no nine years is a long time but for a collector and for a life of the book nine years isn't much you know i mean we're we're seeking out books that are now 40 50 60 70 even 80 years old so nine years um again mylars are the way to go uh but then again this this it shows you that you know you would be spending nine years worth of, of costs at once going with the Mylar instead of saying, breaking it down, you know, in, in, in sixths of that cost every one and a half years. So again, you, you just got to manage, man. You've got to manage, um, you know, I'm slowly switching more and more books into Mylar, um, because this is what happens. I wish I was an expert. I wish I could tell you guys if even with the wrinkles, I wish I could tell you to the level that this bag is protecting this book. I don't know. I don't know if this bag is protecting this book any less than if it wasn't wrinkled at all. I couldn't tell you, but these are the facts of my findings. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and put this book in a Mylar bag and I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button down there and, uh, and do so. And I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, coming back for more and more of, of this ongoing debate of Mylar and Polly and how to protect 
our books. Feedback, comments below, please. I love getting in discussions about this. Let me know what you guys use. And until next time.